In this tutorial video, we're going to be seeing what the difference between method overloading and method overriding is in Java. Now, in um, Java, there are two types of polymorphism. Static polymorphism and dynamic polymorphism. Now, we've already seen what dynamic polymorphism is in the previous video, but we'll talk about that later. So, the first type of polymorphism is known as static polymorphism. So in Java, static polymorphism is achieved through method overloading. Now, method overloading means that there are several methods present in a class, in the same class, having the same name but different types, order or number of parameters. So here we have an example of static polymorphism. So uh, continuing the example we've been using up until now, which is the dog and animal. Um, or should I say the animal superclass and the dog um, subclass. In the dog subclass <coughs> we have a um, method make sound. So the dog makes this sound. Now just underneath we've added the same method, the same name, except we've, at, we've changed um, the parameter to that method. So in this case if the dog is injured then um, the behavior of the method will change, so it will be a different um, <coughs> uh, instruction inside the method, as you can see here. So if the dog is injured, then uh, the dog makes a yelp sound instead of just the plain wolf. Uh, wolf. So um, <coughs> let's go to uh, Eclipse now, and as you can see, in our dog class, we've already created the method uh, make sound, or both methods make sound. So this one here, in the case where the dog just makes its normal sound, and then when the dog is injured, <coughs> it makes this sound. So if we go to our main program here, and uh, we've created a dog object, type dog, okay, and then uh, we're uh, executing the make sound method, use with the uh, excuse me with the dog object like so. So if we launch it. As you'll see, the dog makes the wolf sound. Now, remember, if the dog is injured, which is a Boolean type, so true, and we launch, as you can see, the dog makes the Yelp sound. Um, so that's how uh, you use static polymorphism in Java. Uh, in the next step, we'll be seeing how to use dynamic poly polymorphism in uh, Java. Now this brings us to the second type of polymorphism, which is known as dynamic polymorphism. But you already know everything that needs to be known about uh, dynamic, dynamic polymorphism, because this is uh, the type we used in the previous video, how to apply polymorphism to Java. So I'm not going to go into detail about it. Uh, if you've forgotten, um, if you've forgotten what you saw in the previous video, uh, I would suggest that you, you look at it again. So just briefly, briefly, I'm going to recap quickly. So in Java, dynamic polymorphism is achieved through method overriding. Suppose a subclass overrides a particular method of the superclass. So let's say in the program we create an object of the subclass and assign it to the superclass reference. Now if we call the overridden method on the superclass reference, then the subclass version of the method will be caught. So as you can see, here's the example. It's the exact same one that we used in the previous video. Uh, so let's go quickly to Eclipse. Um, so I'm not going to go into details, I said. So all you have to know, all you need to know, is that we have our three classes here, superclass and two subclasses. Each of them have uh, the same method, uh, make sound. So the animal makes a sound, the, do the dog makes a uh, specific sound uh, according to the do dog object. So its method, uh, its method's behavior changes always different and the same for um, the cat make sound method so then in the main method here in the main program sorry we have um, our three objects that are type animal uh, and then when we execute the method according to the object uh, Java is going to determine which method to use according to the corresponding object so in the case of the cat 
it's going to use the cat uh, make sound method for the dog the dog make sound method so um, that's the main difference between uh, static polymorphism and dynamic polymorphism